Welcome back. All right, the Jaguars have been around for 23 years, and uh, originally when the team started, it was the Booster Club. And it started up, and they did a lot of work for the Jags, volunteering their time. And then uh, somewhere around 2007, we weren't doing so well after that playoff run, and two groups, uh, one group started up, and then a few years later, another one. And these guys have been carrying the fan base online and at the games ever since. So let me introduce the guys here. we got a few from the Teal Street Hooligans and the Bold City Brigade. Introduce yourselves. Tell them. Uh, I'm Brett Barley with the Teal Street Hooligans. I'm Jason Carissa with the Teal Street Hooligans. I'm Pat Tonnell, Bold City Brigade. And I'm Alex Varian with the Teal Street Hooligans. So let's start. Uh, the Hooligans uh, started first, uh, and it was just what? How many? About a dozen. About, yeah, a, dozen? about a dozen? I mean, what, what, what was the reason to start this group? I, I mean, just, you know, at the time, it, there weren't really a whole lot of people going to the games, you know, so we just kind of wanted a, an excuse to uh, get some more people out there and kind of have a good time and hopefully get some more butts in the seats, I guess, at the time, and it just kind of, each year kind of got it a started, It fun. started as basically partying at the tailgate, right? Right, like back, you know, seven, we were still, you know, young, 20, you know, late teens, so we were all kind of... Drinking you know, water and Gatorade yeah, at the yeah, tailgate. We were but we, Strictly you know, used water and Gatorade. <laughs> a lot of you who. We were getting to the point in life where we could actually buy season tickets and support the team more than just rooting for them, you know? And we figured, you know, the team's not very good right now and the support wasn't as high as it had yeah. been in the past. And so we figured that we're, we can do something about it. So why not try to create an environment that yeah. attracts people our age and just, you know, and the new Jaguar fans. It was. It was inside the stadium. I'll tell you this. Wayne Weaver talked for years uh, in, in, that, in that time period. He said, we just need to hang on. We were struggling. We were blacking out games. And he said, we just need to hang on because the next generation that grown up, you know, Jaguars fans, they're going to be there and we're going to have that fan base. So he just kept saying, wait, wait, wait. And then you guys came along. And Bull City Brigade uh, was what, 2012? Yeah, it was about 2012. And what a year to start a supporter yeah, group. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> It was stacked against us. We all needed some support <laughs> that year. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Teal Street started out, um, you know, getting people to the games, getting people excited to go to the games. And, and Bold Street Brigade really started out from, from fighting that national narrative that the Jaguars yep. don't have fans. Um, came from a kind of a different, different point of view because you had, you know, these national talking heads saying, you know, they can't sell out games. They don't have fans. They're not a good fan base. And, and yeah, there wasn't a lot of people going to the games, but we knew that there was a good generation of fans yeah. that you know are about to be able to buy season tickets I grew up with the Jaguars yeah. and um, so we kind of wanted to do something that you know that we can build a community around something that can galvanize the fan base and get them to you know in one direction and be heard and uh, so that's that's kind of where BCB started out uh, and you guys definitely have because uh, like I said at the tailgates in the stadium but then online Jaguars Twitter <laughs> is is legendary around the country undefeated. Jaguars Twitter <laughs> is undefeated and it's because of y'all's two groups just hammering the national media over yeah. and over. I might have gotten in a couple shots with Florio uh. and stuff, but, <laughs> um, but it was really it was really great to see. And uh, and then you guys kind of merged merged groups uh, for the for the tailgate. Yeah, we um, we had been out at the same spot since 2007 on the corner of Duval Street and Bryan Street. The slab. The slab. You may <laughs> have slab. heard of it. Um, and then yeah, when Bold City came around, we were like, who are these guys? What's yeah. up? And uh, then they just came out and joined us and made it huge and even better. And yeah. we've just been it's all about best buds ever since. Mm -hmm. All about getting that voice and then the more people right. together, you know. And it's exploding now. Out. It's exploding now. You got the, the membership uh, shirt from this year. Um, and it's uh, members in, in both groups working together to, uh, to support this team. This week, what is everybody, what are you thinking Sunday? Hopefully good. Hopefully good. It's, it'll be exciting. It'll be uh, super nervous. Yeah. Just this week has been dragging. And you guys are going to be, hooligans are going to be watching the game where? We'll be at uh, Fly's Thai Irish Pub in Atlantic Beach. Fly's Thai Irish Pub down in Atlantic Beach. You want to meet these guys and, and kind of understand what yeah. they're about and that vibe. And you want a fun group to join uh, them. And then Bull City Brigade is doing? Uh, so since it's the AFC Championship game, usually we do one watch party. But uh, this time we figured we'd do two. Um, some for the town folks and some for the beach folks. Nice. So, um, we we're at? Are, uh, yeah, for the town folks, we're going to um, set up over at Wicked Barley, our friends at Wicked Barley who have been awesome to us all season. Um, and then for the beach folks, um, you know, throwing it back and, and heading over to the Ritz and having a good time. Nice. Sorry, Curtis. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, Shim Sham Room and Hop Tanger, you know. Yeah, yeah head over there too. They're great people as yeah. well. So. Well, look, the, every, every place in town is going to be packed. And I'm just looking forward to... Afterwards, I've already had my news pr uh, director ask me to, to be there to cover the celebration afterwards, so I have to temper my, <laughs> my game, game day, which is fine. I'll be ready. Don't worry, boss. I'll be ready um, for that, but it's going to be fun. Uh, did you guys go to the stadium last week after the, after the game? Oh, yeah. 
Sure I did. missed it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I was in Pittsburgh. So. It was fun. It was, <laughs> it was pretty good fun, too. He was there. <laughs> <laughs> he was that was busy. great. Yeah, it was a blast. That was no, so it was all right. Episode. I might have still been in Heinz Field. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. Uh, you know, check these groups out. Um, and like I said, without them and without groups like this, being diehard, showing up at a 2-14 and 14 year. Uh, 2012 was the first time I came out to the tailgate, and it was... I hopefully don't have any pictures from that. <laughs> Immediately stuffed in a world fans. Yeah, yeah, I did. I put something in Portal. Appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for having us. Go Jags. Thanks for having us. That's right. Jags by 50. Jags by 50. <laughs>